Hello. Reggie. Hey, what's up? Chris? What's up, man? Yeah. On the line with me, Reg. Say hello what's to Joe. Joey DeGrandis is on the phone with me. Joey, what's happening? <laughs> what's up, buddy? Hey, that man just trying to survive like everybody else. Yeah, how you been? Huh? How you been? Oh, pretty good, man. Life is good. I'm above ground. Yeah. When was the last time you guys talked? Oh, long time ago, Rich. When was the last time we talked? Man, I don't know. It's been years, man. Yeah, years. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, I've talked to him through the uh, um, uh, Facebook a couple of times when I first got on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but the, I mean, we haven't seen each other in years, man. Yeah, man. Last time I saw you, I was still fighting middleweight. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Wow. Days, man. I, I was talking to Reggie like, uh, what was it, like a month and a half ago when we did the interview, Red? Uh -huh. And then I did the interview with you, Joe. And I was I just went over Joey's interview and, and I, I noticed how, how much he, he was referring to you and, and how much you guys sparred with each other. So I wanted yeah, to talk about... Yeah. Why did you like Joey as your sparring partner so much? You used him up a lot. What was so good about well, Joey? Joey? Joey was good. He, he was good and he was tough. You know, he brought him and he made me work. He got me prepared for, you know, for world title fights. Yeah. And I mean, he, and he's in the process of getting ready for fights himself. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you remember about Reggie, Joe? Reggie, man. <laughs> Box like a... He could box with the best of them, man. He's slick. He got good power, you know. And uh, it it took for me for a while to get used to the style because he's a southpaw. But we helped each other, man. My style helped him. See, I was I was like a bull, like strong, you know what I mean? Raw, raw, Chris, you know. But uh, you know, as the years went by, I got better and better at what I did. But uh, we learned from each other, man. I help him out. He helps me out. And, you know, it's like it's, it's a friendship that goes way back, and it will always grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How, uh, what, what fights are you glad it was Joey who got you prepared the most, Reg? Man, uh, well, uh, most of my, my middleweight fights were my first world title fight. James, I mean, who you think got me ready for James Tony? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, Joey, Joey, Joey was the main sparring partner. He was the main guy. No, as far back I mean, every as time know. I had a, a, a training camp for 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 a world title fight, he, I mean, he was he was the he was the number one sparring partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we had we had a lot of fun. We worked hard, man, and then that's why yeah. he was champion because yeah. we didn't fuck around. We were all business, man. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, yeah, you remember when we? I think Joey. I don't know if you had already been to Big Bear, but it was my first time. Man, we almost died. I, well, I can only speak for myself. I almost died up there the first week. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that, you that, that, high, that high altitude, I hadn't did that since I was a kid. And when I was a kid, I didn't really pay attention to it. Didn't even notice it when I was up in Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center. But, that, but man, but once you, once you got in shape up there, man, when you came down, I remember, down. Joey, do you remember this? When we came down out the mountains from Big Bear and got to Vegas, do you remember us running on the golf course and the guys ran us off so we couldn't run on the golf course? But, man, it was like it was like we was floating on air, man. We got to run forever. <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't even tired either, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. From being up in you those mountains all the time. Man. Yeah, you come down the mountain and you kick ass, man, because yeah. the first week, the first week up there, man, was torture. You know what I'm saying? But then once you come down, after being there for a month and a half, two months, man. Woo! Hey, torture. if you ever go back and watch that James Tony fight, man, I probably could have fought 20 rounds. Hmm. And he, right. like, like about the seven days, that James Tony was tired, man. He was helping him and blowing. <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah. You look fresh as a daisy, huh, Reg? <laughs> yeah. So, so, how, when, when did you guys meet for the first time? Oh, back in, I think, 90, 92, Reggie. 
Back no, 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 no. It was before that. I fought for the tournament in 91, so oh, yeah, we sparred. It, it had to be like like early 91 or late 90. You know where we went, Doc, Chris? I, we used to get on the Dom A downtown. Mm -hmm. Dom A Bucks in downtown L.A. Well, we'd get on there like twice a week, Reggie, maybe, was it? Well, well, but, well, when we got a gym, we was go, we was going there every 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 day, and then on Saturdays. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, when I when I when I met you, I was with Goose and and, and yeah, I, right. You, See, you, I, you I was signed my, with the main him. Yeah, yeah. You 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 were with Dame and Albert was your trainer, remember? Right, that's right. And then, then, and then uh, we used to get out there from Goosen's. We'll get out there like twice a week, maybe. And then, yeah. uh, then when I got in the camp, we'd go every day. We'd, yeah. we'd get up there every day, you know. And then I was in Houston with Reggie. Yeah, yeah he came here a few times. Yeah. I came there a few times, too, when he fought. He fought that Wayne, uh, what's his name, up in Colorado. Wayne Harris. Wayne Harris, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of Vivian Harris' brother. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what, how was he as a fighter? Who, uh, uh, the dude I fought? Wayne Harris. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty good. He was tough, real tall guy. I mean, I beat him, you know, probably just about every round. Mm -hmm. But but I was supposed to be fighting Castro, and Castro pulled out that fight. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. And hey, hey, Reggie, do you remember? Do you remember? Remember, remember when you uh, fought that guy, Greg Dixon, for the USBA? Oh, yeah, that was up by Lake Tahoe, uh, Garnerville. Yeah, I, you know, I fought him after that. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I, I, I beat his ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was I mean, his, only loss, his only loss was to you, man. And I, I messed him up, man, big time. I had him stepping in potholes, you know, but I beat him. I beat him unanimously. Man. Yeah, they was calling him the new hit, man. He's knocking everybody out when I fought him on the ESPN. Yeah. Who was that? What's his name? Greg Dixon. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a tall guy, just like tall like Tom Hanks. Yep. Tall, lanky, and he could punch, right, Reggie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty good, but I, I knocked him out in the second round. <laughs> Had yeah. no time. Had no time to feel it. Hey, yeah. Reggie. Hey, hey Reggie. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, imagine I ended up fighting Virgil Hill at Cruiserweight. You fought Virgil Hill? For the title at Cruiserweight. I won 12 rounds with that month. <laughs> I didn't, see, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, you know what I told him at the press conference? I said, I said, wow, man. This, I fought him in North Dakota at the Eggleston Arena there in the University of North Dakota. Yeah, that's in the hometown. It was on Fox, Fox Sports in 2003. I told him, I said, this is amazing because you were my, you were the first one on the 84 Olympic team to win a world title out of all them great fighters. I said, mm -hmm. But that was yesterday. This was today, man. I said, oh, yeah. I said, what you got in mind for tomorrow's fight? I said, you better get it out, man, because I'm going to be here for 12. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, had a rest, then we had another press conference after the fight, and he goes, boy, Joe, you ain't lying. You were there for 12. He said, we want to take you over and over again, and we knew you'd be there for the long haul, but not like this. Yeah. You know? Yeah, over here. <laughs> He was too big, right? He was like, he weighed in at 194 and three quarters. The limit was 195. Then by fight time, the next day, he's 215. I'm 182, wow. but I'm 182 at the weigh-in. By fight time, I'm like 183, 184, you know? But man, he, couldn't, he couldn't hurt me, and he just outboxed me, man. Yeah, Virgil was he's a pretty good fight. I, 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 was, I remember I was at the fight when he fought uh, Roy Jones, hit him with that body shot. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Chris, if Reggie, yeah. you could ask Reggie, right? If, if he, if he, if, if he could pick anybody to get him ready for any fight, I guarantee you that would be me. How's that? Yeah, well, I already told him that. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God. Joey, we don't have to tell him twice. <laughs> Greg, Greg. Greg, we had a lot of fun. Hey, we learned, I learned a lot from him, Chris, man. Yeah. He's slick, he can punch, he's, you know what, and I learned how to fight a lefty, man. Yeah. That's you know? lighter, lighter. Yeah, can't. Reggie, Reggie can box, he can slip, he can do anything. He can punch, Joey. What about, hey, can't tell Chris about when you came to Houston, remember you met that girl? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 
Tell what was Reggie? What was she? She was a model, model in hats or something, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a beautiful girl, but did, 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 she's kind of crazy or something, right? Oh, <laughs> very crazy. <laughs> yeah, I think she. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was wrong with the woman, but you, man, you, you wouldn't believe it, Chris. The girl was so beautiful, man. And all of a sudden, the man and girls just start tripping on Joy. I don't, wow. I don't know what Joy did, dude, but he must have put some magic on her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it, was, it was. I love Houston, man. Houston was great. The weather, you know. Yeah. What I mean? Wow. And, and when I was down there, we we took care of business. We got Reggie Ray. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll never forget that about that girl, though, man. That girl, too. <laughs> you know, she's beautiful. She's nice. And it went from that to, man, this, 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 my, this, 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 yeah, that was funny stuff, man. Oh, man. Yeah, what, what came of that relationship, Joe? What what happened? What, what'd you do with this lady? Oh, nothing, man. She, I, I was just there on a visit, man. I wasn't, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've, I've, I was there doing my thing, boxing, and helping my buddy out, and this bitch wanted to get in a crazy relationship. Yeah, man, she's sort of like, kind of like Fredo Traction, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, it's crazy, man, but we still, I survived it all, man, and I'm still here, Reggie. Yeah, so what's, well, what's going on with you in Boston, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm back home in Beantown. I was in Chicago for seven years, man. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. You know, I know. You remember, you remember Montel Griffin? Yeah, Montel Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he came. He used to sleep on my couch when I lived in Long Beach. He had came there from Chicago. I yeah, used to go yeah. to all the fights with him. He ended up going going to the Olympics. He won that that that, that deal in blue. What is the tournament they have in California? And he's winning everything, man. Yeah. He, is he still fighting, Reggie? No, no, I think he retired now. No, I talked to him on Facebook. He's I talked to him a couple times on the phone, too. Hey, you know what my last no. fight was, Reggie? Who was that? My last fight was 4th of July, get this, all right? You want to trip out? 4th of July, 2004. I fought, uh -huh. the, 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 I fought the two division champion, Fabrice Tiozo, the cruiserweight from uh, France, man. I fought him on France. What's his name? Fabrice Tiozo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. I fought him in 2004, man. I was like, and you know what? He he was right. He was he was way bigger than me also, too. I fought him in an eight-rounder, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, he dropped me in the second round, Reggie. First time I've, like, ever been down legitimately. And I can write up. I can write up. I can write up. And uh, see, it was my own fault. I threw a straight right hand at him, and then I went to, I hesitated on throwing the left hook after, and I waited, I waited, I waited. Then when I went up with it, man, he hit me with a right hand, and I went, it was like, boom! I went right down, and I got right back up, though, and finished the round. Then the third round, I was in the fight. I had a good round. Then the fourth round, I come out, and I hit him with, like, three punches. Then I had my hands high. He hit me with, like, fall back but they hit my gloves my gloves hit the face they stopped the fight I was like that's bullshit oh, yeah. you know I, didn't I, said, fight somebody. I said you know what after I left the bad taste of my mouth I said this is the last fight I'm having man I'm tired of getting you know what I'm saying but yeah, I, had run, run. Ready. I had a good run man I, I, I come back and I you know after fucking my life up with stupid shit alcohol drugs I got sober and I uh, did what I had to do, and I fought for I fought for three world titles, man. Three different. Yeah, ones. I, I, I just remember the fight with you and uh, uh, what's the guy Brewster? What's his name? Brewer. Brewer. Yeah, Sean Brewer. Brewer. That's right. Yeah, I, I just remember you fighting that fight. I didn't know you had fought all those other fights, man. Yeah, I fought Mikulczewski in Poland too. Tell him, tell him when you went to see Mikulczewski. 
Reg. Yeah, I want you to go watch him fight that tall guy. Uh, the guy beat the hell out of him. Hall, right? Richard Hall? Richard Hall. Job. Richard he Hall. on all that stuff, and the referee stopped the fight when he, when he hit him with a good shot. And they, they, uh, what's his name? The dude Hall, that's his name. Yep, Richard Hall. Reggie, Reggie, that's what they do when you, when you fight overseas, man, if you're any kind of threat. Yeah. Don't stop the fight, man. That's bullshit, but that's what they well, do. Well, you know I know about overseas. I did that Argentina three times. <laughs> mm. Oh, with that, especially with the Raging Bull, Castro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I beat the dude, man. I had to do the boxing lesson both times. Same fight. Tape, you know, tape don't lie. Mm. Hey, was he strong yeah. like me? Yeah, I mean, he, 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 he's strong. But this dude, he, 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 he real strong, man. But I got to do the boxing lesson. You just, yeah, hitting them with everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah man, yeah. that's what you got to do. You're smart. Yeah. And, then, and then my first fight over there, I got two Americans fighting in Argentina, me and John David Jackson. That's when I lost the title. They, they, they ripped me off, said I lost my split decision. And then later, remember John David Jackson? He started yeah. sparring with me when I uh, became light heavyweight champion. And he told me, he said, well, they told me all I had to do was be standing. And see, that's why they ended up stripping him from, from the title because he had made a deal to go back and fight Castro over there. He didn't go and they stripped him. That's why I ended up fighting Castro. Yeah. And each time I fought over there, they left me number one. And as I lost the title, each time I fought Castro, they left me number one. You imagine? Yeah, it's crazy, man. You know, it's politics. Hey, remember that time you fought Guthrie? Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Hey, Reg. Yeah. You put him on like a cigarette, boy. <laughs> yeah, old Guthrie, man. He's talking all that noise at the way he is. Yeah, me and him, man. And I never, I never forget that next, that next morning, I get a knock on the door, open the door, it's Guthrie standing there. Oh, shit. Yeah. And he just what said, man, I just want to, he said, I just want to congratulate you, man. He said, I'm just, I just thank God I woke up. But see, well, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people, see, when Guthrie came to Houston, what's the guy name? The dude with them called me to spoil with this guy. He's getting ready to go to Germany and fight that other lot, Mikoshevsky, but the other guy that was in Germany. Light oh, Henry Mask. Huh? Henry Mask. Henry Mask. Yeah, yeah, the guy, the guy, Edgar DeMarcus. So they did. I was middleweight then, so they had me spoiling with him, and, and Guthrie was with him too. And so when they left Houston, they broke camp in Houston to go to Virginia because Pinnell had a fight. Uh, coming up, so they started training camp with Pinnell. So, so they, you know, Gutsy went with him, and uh, I get a call from Riley Shields. He said, "Man, this Gutsy can't hold up. Man, I need you to come and finish this guy. I need you for three weeks." So I go down there. They paid me good money to go spar with the guy because Eckler Marcus, that dude was strong, man. But he, you know, I was boxing the hell out the dude and doing them. Everybody, they, they mad as hell. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, but but. but but when Guthrie was in Houston, you know, I, I showed him the town. We used to take him out and all this stuff. So we, you know, we became friends. And then we ended up having to fight each other. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was, that was one punch, huh? Boom! Yeah, it was one but a count punch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a good one. He went out. He, man. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I remember that too. Hey, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember, Joey. Were you, were, were, I'm trying to think. Were you, were you, were you working with me when I fought Lamar Parks? Uh, like right, right, right before, right after that, Reggie. Right after huh? that, I think we started working. Kid no, 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 no. Lamar Parks was like, that's, that's that's when I won the title. So 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 I don't I don't, I don't I think you had moved back home or moved or something then. Oh uh, yeah, left goose in them or something then. Yeah, I, I uh, left California in ninety four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but see, me and me and me and uh, uh what we fought in ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah, yeah. I I was I don't think I was working with you that fight. No, nah, no, nah, you weren't. I think I think you was having a problem with goose in them then or something was going down. Yeah. yeah, no, no. What happened was I just like I left on good terms, Reggie. Oh, you did. Yeah, I left on good time. You know, I was a young kid. I was 20, 22 years old, man, and I, I thought I was missing something back in Beantown. Well, you know yeah. what? I was missing shit. You know what I mean? You think you think you're missing things, and dude, just my career, my my job. That's what I had to do. But I was young. You know, I learned from my mistakes, though. Yeah. So how old are you now, Joey? Me? You don't want to know, man. I'm an old man. 
43, boy. He 41? I'm 43. 40, 43 or 3. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, like, hey, like the Italians say, I'm 43. I'm 43. Hey, you look at me, do I look funny to you? Yeah, I'm 43. Well, you, you know, I'm, I'm 45. Are you 45? Yeah. And, yeah. And he's coming back. So I'm younger than you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Reggie, I'm a, listen, I'm a miracle that I'm fucking still living. The shit that I've been through in my life, and I'm still here, reaching in life, to, to do better and better every day, I'm a miracle. I'm just grateful that I don't live the way I used to live and that I learned my lesson, you know? So you need to pack that up and then write a book. Mm -hmm. You need to write a book, right? We've been doing that. My, my girlfriend, who works for WHCH in Boston, Channel 7, she's from Cleveland. She, she's, a, she's a writer and a producer. And, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, she won the Emmy twice for, for uh, stories in Cleveland she did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah my girlfriend. Yeah. And her dad, her dad was in the Marines, and he fought Kenny Norton for the All-Marine Championship. Oh, yeah, Kenny Norton was speaking in San Diego. Yeah. What's her dad's and name? The guy's name is Jerry, Gerald Parrish, my girlfriend's father. Gerald he Parrish. knows Giacchetti and all of them, you know, Richie Giacchetti. Mm -hmm. Paul yeah. Giacchetti, he's friends with them. And I, we went out to the fights. I've been out to Cleveland like seven times in two, two and a half years, you know. So I was out, the last time I was out there, we went to the fights. They were outdoors in Cleveland and Jaquette, was there, and I was going to bring my stuff out there, Reggie. Take my LLC to Grandest Boxing out there, you know, and uh, my nonprofit I got on the Ropes Foundation, my nonprofit organization. Yeah. I'm going to take that out there as well, too, but I got to run in here in Cambridge. Now it's I'm revamping it because this lawyer tried to screw me for like $20,000. Yeah. Yeah. We lost a lot of great warriors, man. Yeah, man, and uh, I know the brothers, both of the so both of the Jacetti brothers have uh, passed have passed away, right? No, Richie didn't pass away, right, Joey? No, Bob, he, he's ill though. She said he's sick, but Bobby's Bobby's all right, right? Bobby came back from California. He's back in Cleveland. I'll be going out to when we going out to Cleveland, babe. June we're going back out there. Oh yeah. Reggie, yeah, man, we know, you know, you know, you know, Julio Gonzalez, the last guy I fought, he passed away. Somebody uh, hit him with a car wreck, drunk driver hit him and killed him. Hmm. I can't believe that. Remember that? That happened like a few months ago, right, Reggie? Yeah, man. Yeah, I did a tribute to him. Uh, this, this, uh, the, I can't remember the writer, the lady. Yeah, man, that's that's messed up, man. It happened like a month ago. Hey, Reggie, yeah. you know who I was? You know who I was with, Reggie, over uh, over the weekend? Who was that? I, I Ring 4, this uh, Veterans Boxers Association, Ring 4 out of Boston. I'm a member of Ring 4. Tony DeMarco is a, is a member. Tom McNeely, he just passed away. Uh, oh, yeah? Uh, Marion Connor. Uh, we were, I was at the, the, the yearly, yearly banquet for Ring 4, and they inducted me into the uh, Hall of Fame as a fighter. Oh, yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, and Mike Molly, Mike Molly, the writer, you know Molly from New York. Yeah, I remember Mike. Mike, Mike was yeah, there. Yeah, Mike, we Mike, Mike, when I beat Steve Collins, he was with Steve Collins, and boy, he was like kind of pissed. Yeah, we were laughing our balls <laughs> off, man, all weekend. He, he's from yeah. Boston originally, Mike Molly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's from Brighton, Mass. Yeah, yeah I, I remember I, Mike. I, I used to tell I told Mike, Mike, I used to go to Austin all the time, man. They go, for what? I go, to brighten up. You get it? Brighten, <laughs> brighten, yeah. brighten up. Brighten up, he left his ass off. <laughs> yeah, but we we were together. He, he, uh, he still, he's a lawyer, and he writes for, what is that, that, that uh, site he writes for, the examiner? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing? Yeah, you married, Reggie? Yeah, yeah. How many kids you got? I got a whole bunch of kids. I got I got two grandkids and one on the way. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. That's good, man. What's your weight now, Red? Well, I was two twenty seven. I'm down to one ninety five. I'm going back down to seventy five. I'm gonna probably fight in like uh, August, September, uh, December. 
What'd you say? You were 200 and what? I said, I got up to 227. I'm down to 195. I got to go. I'm going back down to 75. When I moved to Chicago in 2001, right? I was yeah. 256 pounds, Reggie. God, not okay, the whole cow, man. <laughs> now, listen, I, I was drinking beer and eating being a goof and eating like a civilian. You wow. know what I mean? Bur Burger King, man. Hey, what I mean, I used to sit around the house. I mean, I used to sit around the house. Mm. <laughs> hey. Yeah, no, but look at, but then I got, I took a job at a health club. I went out there to get sober. I, I was in a halfway house out there, and I, um, I was retired from fighting, man. I, you know, because after I fought Brewer, I got an operation, and I thought I was out. But uh, after working on myself and going to a lot of AA meetings, so my mind was clear. I said, you know what, I'm going to give this another run, man. And I won seven in a row, and then I fought uh, that, that big dude, Mikkel Chesky, for the light heavyweight title. Lost at one free mortar row, fought Virgil Hill. Lost at 12-round decision. Then I... Uh, I won two more, and then I fought Tiozo, and that was it. So I had a good run, man. So let me ask you something, Joey. When you left the Goosens, who, I mean, who, 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 who was your promoter when you did those fights? The, 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 the promoter when I did the fights? No, I just I just got a match, man. Middleman got me to fight with Mikkel Chesky. Okay. And then I, I, I got the fights. So they, they were calling me. They, oh. they were, uh, you know, they... This guy I was working with from this bullshit booking agent, but I knew, you know, you know, if I knew what I know now, Reggie, I could have made all my fights. You know what I mean? You know how you gotta learn through this game of getting beat out of money. And, you know, but they tell you everything you want to hear, and they deliver you nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I had, a, I, the last three fights I made on my own, man. And um, uh, you know. And it's like, and I, I did pretty good. I, you know, I just, I shouldn't have fought them big dudes, though, man. But you know me, Reggie, I'll fight anyone. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So how are my boys in Houston doing? Man, everybody's, everybody's doing good. You know, Skip, he's like 80, Skip is what, 83, 84? Yeah, I think Skip, I think he'd be 84 this year. Skip's still doing good? Yeah, he's still, yeah, he's still doing good, man. Damn, man, yeah. Skip's awesome, man. Who's Skip? Skip yeah, who? that's unbelievable, Reggie. He's 84. Yeah, he's 80, you know, 84. Who's Skip, guys? Damn, man, he's, that's unbelievable. Tell Skip all the Yeah, it's like my godfather. He's been on that, on me since I was a kid, man. He's been, man, he, he used to fight and he used to, man, travel with all the fighters, a lot of fighters he worked with. And, um, uh, you know, he, he's a photographer, so that's why I got so many pictures, man. He's taking pictures all my life for me. Does hey, how's Jesse Reed doing? I talked to Jesse uh, a couple weeks ago. Tell him I man. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure going to tell him because so, I'm probably going back to California with him. You know, he's going to be ready. Yeah. Nice. You're on beat with Jesse Reed in the corner. Hey, Reggie, if you need help again, I'm always there, baby. <laughs> yeah, man, but I can't spoil which you wear 250 pounds, man. No, I don't wear that now. <laughs> crazy. Hey, hey, crazy, crazy. That was, in, that was in 2000, man. I was drinking more beer. They used to call me Joey Butt. Just Butt hey, Light. Joey, how much you weigh right now? Right now, I weigh probably, shit, I'm probably 190. Oh, okay, well, hey, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Five, yeah. Oh, I thought you were 250, man. I'm like, I'm going to make a Listen, I train guys every night, man. I, I got, you know, I got this new Irish kid. I, he's probably going to have one more, one more amateur fight, then I'm going to turn him pro. He, he's a real, he's a beast, man. He's good. And um, oh, yeah. then I train, I train these kids in Cape Verde kids. I just work with them because they have a rough in the neighborhood over there. And I go over there with my buddy who's a DEA agent. And we just do a do our thing with the kids over there, man. We keep try to keep them out of trouble, you know. Yeah. And Reggie's and making to, a comeback, Joe. I'm big in the I'm big in the recovery. I go to meetings a lot. You know, oh, I help yeah, a lot of good. people out. Yeah, man. The yeah, man, you know, I went through like, all that stuff with my dad. Man, you know, my dad passed away in 2003. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah you remember my dad, don't you? I think I do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reggie, it's been yeah. a long time when you've been, you know, 
I was crazy before I even started fighting. And then when you add fighting to the occasion, you get a little crazier from getting well, hit. Sure, you know, I figured that out the first day I met you. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, 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 but I'm a, I'm a shop of the pack, man. I, I, didn't lose, uh-huh. lose, I didn't lose one step. I'm, gee, some people may think we're dumb fighters, but I'm smiling at what they think, man. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <I'm> crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, I crazy before I started fighting. Yeah, give me something I don't know, man. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, when I, when I, when I, you, no one knows this, Chris, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm American. I'm even living because when I was born back uh, 43 years ago, I, I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck three times, man. I swear to God. I was in a oh, yeah. gift like two months. So I beat the odds then. Yeah. So, see, I'm a ma- I'm still here, man. I'm a warrior. I keep going and going. Yeah. Right, Reggie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I'm fighting the good fight, Joe. Working, working yeah. for kids. You guys both have that in common too. You guys both work for kids and. Well, hey, this other guy. Hey, this other old guy. I think he's like about 58 now. And old guy, I was talking to him the other day, and he had he had some pretty good fights. He had about about 30, 40 some pro fights. And, uh, and the dude said, he said, man, you coming back to me? I said, yeah, I'm going to come back. He said, well, uh, he said, if you come back, I can come back. He said, he, he said, he said I'm going to think about it. He said, I'm, I'm going to consider making a comeback. He said, I just got to figure out where the hell I be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, he was serious too, Reggie. Yeah, he was serious. <laughs> he was serious as cancer, that poor brick. He don't even know where he is. <laughs> yeah, but one time I saw the same guy. He, he, he was jogging one day. And I, I'm, and I said, man, the dude, I said, look at him, man. He's still got a little somewhere. He, he jogging him whenever he, he stopped me to do some shadow boxing. So he did it a couple of times. Every time he stopped, he started shadow boxing. Then he started back running. And I said, oh, yeah, he's handsome. And then, and, and, and then the dude did it again. So, so he started shadow boxing, and then he started, you know, like, like you shadow boxing. And then, and, and then he started going through the whole role play, like he get hit, and then he like, you know, moving his head like somebody hit him. I said, oh man, let's get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, you know, I'm, and like I say, I'm, I'm grateful, man, that I never got really hurt in there. But, uh, you know, I, I, right now I'm, I'm paying a price for the fight. And I, I can't work yeah. with the office in Union Carpenter no more because of my balance. My equilibrium's off. They diagnosed me in 2004 with a tax here, which is a semi form of Parkinson's. Oh, you know, yeah? But I'm, I'm still going, man. I don't quit, Reggie. I don't fight no yeah. more. But I don't, I don't quit being in the gym with the kids and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm, good, I'm man. Fine, man. I'm fine, man. I'm a warrior, bro. You ain't gonna kill. You gotta, you gotta kill me to keep me down. Yeah, that's a good thing working with them kids, man. That's what I enjoy doing too, man. Yeah, that's God's will. When you do that, He, they, he blesses you, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what? Hey, you- I gotta get out to Houston and help you. Even if I could work the car and be a cheerleader, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably be in L.A., man. Yeah, whatever, L.A. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could take me, guys. Hey, hey, did you see that deal with uh, James Tony? Did the UFC fight? He fought Randy Couture? Yeah, he got his ass whooped in that fight. <laughs> yeah, he got choked out, man. He was, he was supposed to come in. He came here, right, Reggie? And I was going to... I, that's when I had my gym over in Cambridge, but uh, it was the night before the fight, so he didn't get to work out, you know. Oh but yeah. He just, and he got his so he got choked up. Dude, you can't fight him, man. It's like fighting a guy in the street. Boxers, we we can we'll fight with anyone, punch with anyone, but what are we gonna do when they get us on the ground, man? They yeah. hit you with that arm, Bob. I'll be tapping out too, man. Get your arm pulled like that. Yeah. I'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> but Reggie, tell him, when you hit me, I'm not going nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept coming, man. He was just, I told you he was the main guy in my camp. Yep. Yeah, I told him he was the main guy. The guy's a <clears throat> Couldn't stop Hey, him. I'm the second guy now. You know, you know who my main guy is? God. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. He calls all the shots, man. I'm, I just follow his lead, man, and I'll be all right, you know? When I yeah. think I can control my own destiny, that's a damn in trouble. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
But Reggie, I love you, man, and it's good to hear you. And I'm glad to see you back doing what you love doing. Man. Yeah, Joey, man, we're going to uh, keep in touch, man. Yeah, I got, I got your numbers. I got your numbers. I got it saved. I'll keep yeah, in touch. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 my regards to everyone out there, man. Tom, I said hello, and I'm still doing it, man. Okay, I will, yeah. I'm going to call Skip tomorrow and tell him I'll talk to you, man. Yeah, send him my regards, man. Tell him, tell him I'll see him again. I'll, I'll, you know, when you fight, I'll come out there, man. This is fun, guys. This is fun for me. I know everyone's going to love to hear this conversation. Good to hear you, Reggie. It's going to be fun. Okay, man. <laughs>